What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. I'm gonna show you some cool features that we have added to VIP Shop Management profit and loss. This is a software inside a software right now because this page is becoming super important. It's gonna allow you to do your taxes and prepare your taxes for your accountant in less than one hour versus I just did my taxes and it took me literally one week or two weeks. I was tired trying to find every transaction and add it and then trying to categorize it. It's horrible. So I, I needed a solution for me. This solution is for me before you guys buy now whatever I do for me, I share it with you guys. And this is a big, big deal. I'm gonna show you an example with a credit card, but it works the same way as long as you follow the rules. Anyway, so at the bottom right here, First of all, you have multiple accounts. Anytime you're trying to import, I need you to import right here to temporary account just for testing first because we can import and we can delete it, which is pretty cool. You can import and delete in any account, but I'm saying when you're practicing, this is your first time, we're importing data and every bank account has their own rules of exporting. So to import the data, obviously you gotta log into your account and export the data. So in this case, I'm gonna go to my uh, to my to my capital one credit card let me just bring it here right here so capital one credit card there's something called more services right here i'm going to click on that i'm you're going to be looking for whether your bank account or whether your 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 credit card for where it says download csv we're not printing here we're downloading so in this case i'm going to scroll down bank credit uh, what is it? I'm sorry, Capital One download transaction. That's what we're looking for. Click on that, and it's gonna tell you which type CSV. That's what we're using. In CSV, you don't need Excel to have CSV, which is cool. Click on that, and then the period of time. If you're trying to do the whole year, then give me the whole year. That's what I would do. The beauty of that VIP shop management will sort it out. We're not gonna let you. Well, like if you're trying to do 2023, it's gonna import all 2023. If you wanna do just the month, it's it's up to you with VIP. So always import the whole thing and select from VIP. So we're just gonna do the whole the whole year and we're gonna open the file. So after you download it, I'm gonna put this aside. We're gonna open the file. It's gonna look messy. Of course, because it's CSV. Just fix it up a little bit so I can see what's going on here. All right, so we have the file right now. We got obviously usually under downloads, you gotta know where you're saving the file. This time I haven't even saved it, I'm just opening it. Let's go to VIP real quick and see what's the requirements from VIP because there's requirements. We're gonna go to VIP, we're gonna click on import. First of all, like I said, always make sure you're selecting a temporary account import and then bank doesn't matter just click on that it doesn't matter either or for now we'll make it eventually directly but for now because we don't know what kind of type of data do you have import do you want the whole month or the whole year just click the selected the year the whole year and then select format and that's what things are completely different and i'm sure i'm going to be adding a third option because everybody in export the data different way well let's look at some of the sample right here that we we imported and see which one is matches my advice because all right well let's start with that which columns are we looking for we're looking for a b c and d and we don't care about anything else and a b and c and d it must match one of those two so what i suggest do and this is i'm teaching you some skills right now it's the beauty of vip show manager we teach you computer skills just come in right here and i need you to empty a b c and d actually all the way to e so how it, basically move these to here so let's do this one two three four five six all of it and control x control x or basically right click and call but you try to use your keyboard Control X, and then let's just put them right here. Control V to paste. Control X to cut, Control V to paste on your keyboard. All right, now I emptied this. All right, good. Now why? Because I need the first four columns to match VIP. Let's go back to VIP right here. I'm gonna do it the hardest way. So 
In this case, well, we need to, you need to understand one thing at this situation after you moved in. Is your bank or credit statement have debit and credit separately or in one column? Some of them have in one column and some of them have separately. If we look right here now, they have them separately. They have debit here and credit here. Good news for you. We don't care about what says right here. You don't have to rename. I hated that. You don't have to rename the, the column. It doesn't matter. We don't care about that. So if you look, so debit and credit. So debit and credit, that's what I need. Okay, perfect. Well, I need to organize them. I'm going to put them in A, B, C, and D. So this is, I need option two and I need the date first. No problem. Just click on that. Control X. Select A. Control V. How beautiful is that? Well, in this case, look, I even made a mistake. There's two type of dates. I don't care about the date, uh, uh, the transaction date. Just go back then. We need the post date. My bad. The transaction date doesn't matter. Post date. When did it go on the credit card or on the bank account? So we're going to need this column. Control X. Then Control V. The second one right here is description. No problem. Control X. Control V. The third one is debit right control x control v and the last one is credit credit it's payments or deposit control x control v i don't care about the rest all i have to do is click save save uh, let's see if we can save as more save i know it did save it but let's just click on save as so i know because i want to save as yep let's go save as um and let's go on browse because i want to give it like a special name so we know we import this and let's say test right there at the end of that so we put it under downloads all right after you save it you must close it you cannot import when this one is already open so after you fix it like this i mean give it a last look before you go right post a date post a date description description debit debit credit credit you all set close it and now we're going to select this option and now we're going to look for that file downloads it's right there test and let's see what happens <laughs> open and let's see if we did that oh shit. see i selected the wrong gear <laughs> my bad make sure you select it make sure you'll be because it's going we don't want to mess up your data so it's going to the to the same year so that was 2023 so make sure you're in the 2023. Good. I'm glad this happened. Let's do it fast this time. This, this, import, selected year, select format, option two. This is the file. And that's it. We got it. This one, I don't, I don't have much here. This capital one, I don't have much. We're going to try another one. But you have two options. Keep or delete. So if, if you see some weird that, that nothing is matching, go ahead and delete and confirm you're all set. Let's bring someone one that actually has way more data, more, 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 way more data. Sorry, I'm just tired. All right, import bank. We're going to import uh, Chase credit card right now. <laughs> I'm going to talk about this. Select year, select format. The other one I already did. I can show you that. Let me show you that before I go. All right, so let me, this is my other credit card. And I already did that. I already showed you how to cut and paste, but let me just fix that. So if you look at the, uh, at the second one, second one is different. It needs debit or credit or payment and sale. doesn't matter. We will detect it. But it's either, you see this one, it goes type first and then the date and then the description and then the amount there's negative and positive i don't care about the rest so you need to fit that's what i'm saying like you see the other one has debit and credit separately where this one has debit and credit in the same column but they give you another column it's called type so make sure the other one if, it, if yours has type make sure type is the first one like so we're matching the first option right Type, even though it says payment and sale, it's just like debit and credit, so it doesn't matter about that. And then post date, same thing, and then description, and then amount. All right, it's closed, make sure it's closed. All right, let's save it, closed. Uh, actually, I don't wanna save it, fine, we already have it saved. All right, so option number one, 
we're gonna go to desktop desktop um, is my transactions the hardest part right here and this is the credit card open all right and then I'm gonna click keep this time and look at this look at this I have all the transactions for this credit card all of them from deposit to any credit to all of that let's let's switch to yearly real quick see what's going on right <laughs> let's let's judge me for a second click on yearly all right let's see what's going on here um coffee three thousand dollars for god's sake mark see i have a problem <laughs> right there three thousand dollars three thousand six hundred dollars in coffee best buy it's impressive i have no idea how that <laughs> unless i used it on other card um but that's the whole point man everything is under your control I, I wish i had this tool two weeks ago i was struggling where's my calculator i was doing this now, what's the beauty of that is like, okay, well, let's see how much I spend on, on uh, like, you know, Big V and all that. And the beauty of that, check this out, switch back to monthly. All right, let's edit some stuff, right? It says other and all that. Let's say Carabas, I want to put it under uh, meals. Where's meals? Meals and expenses, right? And I want, I want this one to update everywhere. I don't have time to sit and go update every single one. So I'm going to click on update yearly. And then update and if we go to Carabas right now see all meal so it switched that automatically if I go back to June just to make sure it's all set brilliant brilliant I don't have time I don't have time <laughs> anyway I'll let you go you get the idea um, please use the temp account and then uh, obviously it's gonna need tons of updates as we go but it already works right now thanks for watching